ruin has come to our family. I browsed the internet openly without using a VPN. That's why today's sponsor is... No, we don't have a sponsor. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not enough of a sellout quite yet. Don't panic. Um, although that is mainly because they haven't offered, not because I haven't... <clears throat> not because I haven't declined it. So here we are in the darkest dungeon of them all, Darkest Dungeon, where today we're going to kill, get, get ready for it, more bosses because we're still in a boss rush style boss rush scenario. So we have two of the kind of starting bosses left. We have the Sodden Crew and we have the Sonorous Prophet. This one gives us, what the hell is that? Oh, hello. Oh, that's really cool because that was really well with that other item we got. There was that, that, that ancestral item, right? Uh, yeah, Martyr Seal. An Eternity Collar. Gives him like 20% uh, death blow resist. Oh, 22%. But gives him like crazy fucking damage and dodge. Oh, that could be cool. All right. Um, I'm, I might go for that one literally just for the trinket. Um, we've also got the choice of this guy here, the hag. And this is a veteran one. So we can actually take some of our stronger characters out on a journey for once. And then I guess from there, it's, it's going to be all the hard boys. Then we're only in we're, we're only in hard territory at that stage. So... Let's clear out these two as soon as possible. We've still got the Dark Timber in from the Cove as well. But just did a couple of quick runs, mainly because I upgraded our characters and didn't have enough money to actually get proper supplies for a run. Uh, so let's go and take a look now. Uh, some shit has probably changed. Doesn't really matter too much. It's not a big thing. I did rename Pippin the Plague Doctor to a name that was suggested to be Crundle Backbrace, which couldn't be any more appropriate for our healer. So, obviously, the rewards will have changed now uh, because I've just run another dungeon there in the ruins. So, we've got Candle of Life for the Antiquarian. Um, wow, that seems really good, huh? And then we've also got Legendary Bracer. I actually already have a Legendary Bracer. Go to the Cove. Um, is our squad particularly bleed oriented? It's not, though, is it? If we put you there, you there, and you there. That could work. It's a bit of a weird one. We've got the Crusader Capable of Healing. We've got... Crundle capable of healing as well. Okay. Obviously, Boris doing a lot of bleed is not ideal. Could push like this. We, we could do it like this. Push him back. Push the Crusader back. But the problem with that was we'd have to turn him into more of a... Oh, but then even then, I'm taking another character that's bleed if I take on a Star Rex. I can't take anyone else. Bollocks. All right, yeah. Fine, we'll just take Boris and just accept that we're not going to be that effective when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to bleed. Let's try to equip all of our trinkets and... See how I can get this shit set up. Well, let's give you your hairpin for a start. She got all in damage on you. Torch below 25. We could go, I mean, that's what, 10% stress with 20% bonus damage. I think I can, I think I can handle that. Um, healing skills and higher stress. But we also give you the box to lower stress down by, to, to cancel out that. So we've only got healing. That could work pretty well. Plague Doctor. We could go Heavy Blight with the Plague Doctor, but I haven't really got many things that help out with that. You got Rock Gut Sensor, and then I'd have to give him, like, a crappy, like, Blight Stone. 15% Bleed Skill. Oh, sorry, Blight Skill. Probably really not worth it, is it? Um, we could just go Pure Accuracy. Range Skills. I see all of his little vials that he throws count as Range Skill. Um, could go Junior's Head for the 20%. And then, like, the Book of... Is it the Book of Relaxation? Yeah, how about that? So again, bonus to healing. It's going to take in slightly more stress, but again, high heals. And then, oh, for Houndmaster, I guess we go stun build with you rather than bleed and rearrange his skills a little bit. That could work. Uh, Stun skill chance. Yeah, fuck it. I don't think I've got anything better for stun. Oh, your dazzling charm. Yeah, actually, that is a direct upgrade from that, isn't it? Um, oh, God, this is difficult. Stun resist. Have we got any other stun items here? Not really. We could have something generic like Cleansing Crystal. No real negatives there. Um, not for this guy, anyway. I'm all right with that. I think that works. We haven't got anything that, that is particular against Eldritch either, I don't think. It's going to take a while to learn all these fucking trinkets, to be honest with you. Uh, all right. I'm all right with that. I think we'll see how this goes. Let's just rearrange this slightly. Um, so let's get rid of... Ah, oh, does damage versus marked. Ah, uh, let's get rid of. This is a fucking hard. Let's get rid of that one. Let's go for blackjack instead. I can't use that in position four. Bollocks. Um, lower stress. Oh, that could be interesting. Or we could buff. Guard an ally and buff self by twelve dodge. So we could buff up like the hellion at the front. This is really tricky because now I've got to take away his stun stuff again because we actually can't use him in that position. What about the plague doctor at the back? 
Oh, that would work. That would work. Hang on, hang on. No, Blackjack's only position two. Fuck, that won't work. Ah! Um, what the hell am I going to do with you? We could recruit someone new. I'm not actually too much against that, to be honest, because we've got a character who's good at bleed, and I don't need that right now. Um, Grave Robber at the back does Blight. I mean, Blight is what we need in the cove, isn't it? I think I'm going to have to go for the Grave Robber. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, another Leper, another Abomination, or another Hellion. Wait, there's a couple of clocks. Like, we haven't got an Antiquarian, so I'd rather save our last slot for that, to be honest. I'll admit, sending a character out that we've never before used is probably a fucking terrible idea. <laughs> but we'll see how we get on with it. I mean, we've got two healers, right? We've got two healers. I think we'll be fine. Right, give me all of those tasties. Let's go uh, three shovels. Let's go some anti -venom. Let's go some bandages, some herbs. I'm, I'm going a little hard on that, I will admit, just because this is a bit of a shit team. Uh, Lord of the Mudder that we really have to worry about at an apprentice level, do we? And then let's take some big old fuck-off torches, and we can always trick them in the bin afterwards. All right, 14 of the blood. No, thank you, sir. Okay. Oh, pirates. Oh, we get to fight pirates? Chained and drowning for eternity. Terrible. Really just awful. Um, right, so obviously we've got to head over there, so let's start getting on with it straight away. I'll tweet the volume a little bit. Some people said that the Ancestor was a little quiet last time. Um, that's only because of the combat effects, like getting crits and whatnot, are so, so loud. So I'll see if I can do something about that. Um, we could cure the fish. We could cure the fish. All right. I mean, that was a lot of that was a lot of money, and we got a little extra food too. So maybe in the long term, that wasn't so terrible. I mean, look, now we can just we can just feed our guy back up. Hey, problem solved. I don't think that was a problem solved. Hello, okay, anyone's here? Moving on. We've already done some scouting chance. I won't lie. Uh, a bulging sack for me. Oh, Christmas came early. Oh no, jellyfishes. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Watch this. Ready? Uh, die. We kill the jellyfishes first, because they fucking suck. Um, what can you do? Five to nine. Um, you can do poison darts. Uh, apply 100% for two rounds. Uh, two points for four rounds. That's not very good. Um, oh, but they have lower blight resist. So the plague doctor can follow that up with another hit. That's quite nice. Um, flashing daggers only does one to two. Oh, yikes. I've got to learn how this character works, right? Because I've not really played with them before. If we crit, we could kill that. I mean, it was a... Look, it was, a, it was a long go. Oh, I didn't even rename Clavel. If you survive, you've earned your name. That's that's the condition, I think. Um, shout at the snails. Just kill the snail. We, we kill the snail here. Executed with impunity. Hell yeah. That's right. Get him. Uh, let's go. Noxious Blast. We blight the snail. We do blight the snail. Okay, snail's dead. Good shit. Wow. And now, big stinger. Please don't stun me. Okay, we're fine. Good shit. Hey, look at that. We've got to be careful with the with the Hellion stress. It's the only thing I'm a little concerned about here. Um, 33 HP as well. Oh, I don't know. She's quite... I, I mean, she's just a, a, a literal glass cannon here. We've sacrificed a lot here just so she hits super hard. We've got a surprise in there. That's quite lucky. Um, right, right, right. Okay. Poison immediately early. Go for him. So he's now lower blight resist. And now the Plague Doctor can really finish that up and do a lot of damage there. Kill the stun man. Back to the pit. Not interested in your nonsense, stun man. Um, we could stun him. Could we just straight up kill him? 4 to 16. It's a gamble. Damn. Okay, not a problem though. Uh, let's go play grenade on the back too. A critical play grenade. That's quite funny. 6 damage per round, 4 damage per round. Fuck, it wasn't quite enough. Damn it. That's okay. One damage and some stress. That's all right. We've got to, we've got to accept a little bit of... Uh... So he's dead next round. Oh, fuck. Apparently, I was talking about the Plague Doctor there. Um, the the pal Pelagic? Sure. Uh, Shaman is dead next round. This guy would just get a Blight on with either the Grave Robber or... Oh, we could just chuck a knife at it and kill it. So the Throne Dagger do bonus against Blighted, don't they? Yeah, 20% extra. So that works quite well. And now you are... Well, I mean, dead. Bye. Not terrible. Oh, what is that? Health stone. Oh, I don't know if I want to keep that. Oh, God. No, I've got to already start juggling shit. Right, Jade, get out of here. I'll take the ruby. Portraits. I, I'm, I'm happy to grind out. Do loads of crappy little runs if necessary. Do some middle ground runs. And just get... Do, like, full-on uh, heirloom runs. And not bother with treasure. Let the bank deal with that. Um, I think we'll scrap the rest. 
What is in here? Uh, hello? Ooh, food? Oh, anti-venom. I guess it's better than nothing, right? It's a stackable. Let's not fuck around on the boss fights. Especially when we've got, like, level zero Babby coming along with us. Okay. I'm not gonna go that direction at all. There may be a secret room. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna go for it. It's not worth the, it's not worth the risk. Alright. Let's get a couple of torches. May we find and... Those, oh shit, those guardians are quite annoying, aren't they? Let, uh, let's still go for the still go for the stress boys first. Swan, nice. Obliterated. That was pretty good. Uh, let's go poison uh, on you. Start stacking up the blight, and then obviously the grave robber can follow up with hopefully quite a heavy blow. Uh, we could go stunning blow on the sea snail. What's the chance of us actually killing the snail? Two to four, impossible actually. I'd rather just stun it then and get it over with. Bash. Nice. Okay. We, we, it was going to take two turns to kill it. Anyway, we might as well take it out of battle for a round, right? Um, let's go for Noxious Blast on you. Let's just kill you as fast as possible. Oh, shit. Seven damage per round now. Good shit. Nice. Good dodge. Seven damage. Fourteen. Two more rounds. That adds up. That's fine. Guarding the snail. That's okay. That's probably the best thing we could have asked for there, to be honest with you. All right. Can we hit you? Position three with you. No, we can't. That's a shame. Could go for a stun again. Or if we get a hard hit, we could just kill that. Shit. That was unfortunate. Um, let's go flashing dagger then. He's dead next round. And we've done a little bit of extra damage on him. One more hit and he's dead. And then we've got to deal with a snail. Oh! That was, that was some big damage. Fuck. All right. Um, I mean, we can almost certainly kill... Shouldn't say that in this game, should I? All right. Kill him. Oh, fuck off, snail. Die. Die, you stinky. Okay, he's gone. It's <laughs> so strong. What are they made of? Well, I mean, snail, slug, and shell. We all know that. Hello? How does an oyster make you bleed, sir? Uh, we might want to... How long have we got? We've got four more rooms. I think we should chomp a little bit of food, especially for the grave robber. And let's chomp a little bit for you. I might have to start putting on healing, less on blighting. We've got two more battles coming up. Oh, this is going to be quite tricky, I think. Oh, hello. Okay, fine. Um, we should take out the big guy first. The Fusilier. I think I'd rather take you out. The ground nice quakes. damage. Wow, that was pretty good, huh? Not bad at all. Um, we can whack him, kill him dead, almost certainly. Wicked hack. 10 to 20. Two damage per round. Follow up with the plague, Dr. Grenade. That would do seven. Blight, that is. Oh, plus, if we get two damage from the grenade, we'd have to hit everything perfectly. And we could kill him before he gets an attack off. I'm not going to go for that. We're just going to take you down, guaranteed. Um, let's go Noxious Gas on you. Oh, so it would have worked. So that's how, Yeah, so that would have actually worked if we'd have hit with the Hellion. That's a shame. All right, never mind. All right, not, not, a, not a concern. You can't look. We can't rely on shit like that, okay? You plan to fail. Plan to fail in this game. Uh, let's go for... Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Okay. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. There we go. Okay, so he's dead without us having to do anything, basically. Stuns next round. The next time his turn comes around, he's dead. So we can focus on healing our own people up with a little bit if we if we need to. Um, can we blight you? Blight you. Uh, you can kill him dead, right? No, we still can't hit. Because it's big fatty. Fatty, be gone. Keep him stunned. He's stunned for two rounds now. How does that work? I have no idea. Maybe it just stuns until his next turn again. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to start healing up. Let's go for you. I mean, sedated is not really what we want, is it, Ancestor? Um, kills Blight or Bleed. Yeah. Okay, let's do that on you. He's dead. He's still a bit of a concern, but we should be able to hit him. Do one of those. What's his blight now? Four damage per round. Oh, shit. I was hoping we would be able to hit him with the Plague Doctor. That's my bad. Before he was able to attack, that is. Obviously, we can still hit him with the Plague Doctor. Um, let's go ahead and heal you. And everybody's basically back to full HP now. So I can I can, I can, can live with that. Four damage per round is on three HP. We might as well, again, just get the heal him, right? Nice. Okay, that's everyone back to full HP. The enemies are dead. We're good. Um, well, I suppose we could hit him for stress relief. Sure. Big old fucking punching bag. Get out of here. The greater the glory. And then, boom. Oh, look at that. What a what a squad. Maybe a little bit overhealed, to be honest. Um, Throw a dagger at that man. 
surges as the enemy Excellent. Crumbles. I mean, it doesn't. Oh, it actually did. Wow. 35 out of 200. And nothing I can take there. Uh, I like... Why can I not take that? There we are. Pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Uh, do I want... Well, we can obviously take the torch. Uh, no, 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 no. Like I said, I'll, I'll just do some heirloom runs later. I really want to focus on getting uh, Instructor Mastery armor we smithing and weapon smithing up so that we can get the next level of cart. Um, what, what is it? The, 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 the cart? But with people in it. What do you call that? The wooden taxi. I can't remember the name for it. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, here we go. Play grenade. Take out the drowned thrall pretty early because uh, I've, I've had enough pounding from explosives in the past few days. I called the last episode, by the way, there was a few people concerned by that. Uh, I called the last episode something like local celebrity pounded by bandits because the boss was called the pounder. Uh, and I got demonetized literally before the video even went live. Uh, and I didn't realize until I got home. So worked for free that day. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Fucking lack of sense of humor, Susan. Yeah, get accused. Okay, I thought we'd try and kill these first two fairly early while the back two were stunned. Because then by the time those guys get to attack, we might have killed these guys dead. But unfortunately not. Oh, barnacles. Okay. You? Oh, healing? You can't heal your friends. Okay, well now we definitely have to kill the guy up front, don't we? That's quite annoying. Um, we could kill you. I think that's not a terrible idea. Oh. Don't let him blow up. Oh. My crusader. Okay. Um... I think just go for a big bash. Three to seven. Fuck, you're so weak. How are you so weak? I mean, that did eight, so I think that was still the better play. Um, go for a stun again. Oh, fuck. Should have expected that. Um, if we iron swan that, it transfers it to the first guy, right? Yeah, I thought it did. Octocestus? Oh, I get it. Very good. He's only got one of them, though, so that doesn't really make much fucking sense. Garling grab. Okay, it's not an explosion. And he's dead next turn, right? Yes. Okay, good, good. So you're dead. Um, let's go... I mean, we'll just kill him. Or whatever. You're dead. Hit him with the Hellion. Did you just buff up the... Is that going to do anything? No, it's not. Um, hit him with the Hellion. Hopefully kill him dead. It's nine, it's nine damage. We, we're good on that front. And then you... Get poisoned? Okay, I'll take it. Four damage per round. Oh! God, they really don't like that fucking crusader, do they, huh? Smite! Nice. Okay, and then... Die. Nice. Okay, that worked out pretty well, then. Um, I don't want any of this shit. Actually, no, I want the food. Who, who needs a chomp? Uh, you heal up, and then let's go... Okay, good shit. Chest? An unlocked strongbox. Don't you lie to me. Food? <laughs> I don't know why we... It feels like a bad idea. This is very Skyrim. You know, we go into a tomb... Thousand-year-old Draugr tomb, and you find yourself a, a fresh loaf of bread, freshly cooked. This feels like a bad idea to be eating food out of an eldritch chest that's been in a cove for God knows how long. Maybe some of my previous adventures left it behind. That's a bit more reasonable. Some curios. Hello. Uh, more gold that I can't fucking carry. Thank you. Oh, room battle. Oh, <gasps> nice. And we got some scouting. Hey, that's that's pretty good. No room battle again. Oh, we've got a pretty much straight run to the boss. To be fair, they've been pounding us early on here. Again, I'm not allowed to say that because you're getting me demonetized. Damn it, Susan. Oh, we've got more scouting. Empty room. Room battle with a curio. A few traps coming up, but that's all right. Hey, this is okay. So we've got a safe run. We've got two more battles. We'll de defeat the room with the curio. Then obviously we'll just camp and then we're we're good. We're going to be we're gonna be in, in a great position for this boss. All right. Watch out for the trap. Oh, wait, the food. Oh, balls. We've run out of food. Okay. Uh, 80%, 70, 70, 90. Grave robber. Go. Uh, so camping is going to be not ideal. But I want the camping skills, right? Oh, I should have really put the torch up before we came in here. My bad. Stress wave. Oh, he dodged. Okay. Um, let's kill. I mean, we might as well just kill you first anyway, right? Just focus that down with the grave robber and the plague doctor. You can hit the guys at the back. I'm hoping we can take out the guy at the back with the Hellion before this guy gets the shield up. I'm just going to blight the shit out of this man. Seven damage per round. Nice. Okay. You kill him. 10 to 20. Unless we miss, this is very unlucky. Nice. Good shit. So that's no more stress we've got to worry about. 
Granted, HP should be a bit more of a pressing concern, given that we've got no fucking food. Uh, we could just stack the stuns and heal up like we did earlier. That's probably not a bad idea at all. Um, 8 to 15. Ooh. Annihilated. Hello. What a guy. Dr. Cestus. Oh! Breathes heavily. Moves away from microphone to breathe. All right, how are you looking? Two damage per round for five rounds. Fuck, I, I'm going to bandage that. Uh, that's a that's a total of get this ten damage unbelievable right poison dart Do I see this big fishy mouth and then We kill We kill somehow plate grenade Well, there we go six damage per round bollocks. That was pathetic Thank you barnacle barrier much appreciated and now you just fucking just die just fucking die now, I want to keep these guys stunned if possible. Um, I mean, if we hit them with a stunning blow, it's probably just going to kill them. We also cannot. Um, so we'll just take this opportunity. Oh, I didn't bandage just to heal up. I don't think this guy will be able to out damage two healers working. And especially if we can get that stun on him. Oh, have I got to kill him? You're going to make me kill him. No, oh, he's fine. I mean, he's dead next round anyway, so we might as well, again, just heal up. Um, yeah, yeah, battlefield medicine. Remove the bleed. Get a little bit of health back. Okay, now we get to camp, and they can be sad because I haven't got any food for them. Needy fucks. It's been five minutes. And there we are. A big old bossman. Okay. Resty, resty. And a, a snacky. No! We're one food short. They take damage from that too? What for not eating? You can fuck off. Okay, um. Sharpen your spear. This is bad. This is like the worst camping time we've ever had, huh? Um, you can do like battlefield medicine. Oh, yeah. Heal 50% of HP and 55% extra healing for three battles. So we've got to hit you with that. Leeches on you. He can heal self. Wound care on you. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't too terrible then. So we've got some extra damage for the Hellion. We healed a little bit. If we get ambushed now, I'm going to cry. That's it. No sleep for us. We march. Perhaps we could forage some berries. No. Can anyone carry a tune? The match is okay. A uh, you have a snack as well. Because the Plague Doctor helps everybody, but he could not heal himself. Ironic. Okay. Okay, here we are. Uh, deal with that, please, sir. And go. Food? Food? Oh, it's heirlooms. Can we eat them? <laughs> sir, can we eat that heirloom? Uh, okay, holy water. Boom. 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 And what happens if I drink the blood? You probably just get hepatitis, to be blunt. The way is lit. Hello. Oh. You're, um, you're horrifying. The hell is... Oh, he's unholy. Hey, good news for the um, Crusader. This is obviously something you would just learn if you play the game. Okay, I'll bring guys that are good against unholy. I'll give trinkets that are good against unholy. Whatever. We go for a stun. 50%, 50%. Well, statistically, we'll stun one of them. Alternatively, we kill him dead. Drowned puller. That's my, uh... <laughs> Am I allowed to say that's my secret Bukaki channel on YouTube and see if they... You know what, move on. Whoa! Brim Brassum. Okay, uh, poison darts. Nice. Okay. Uh, just, just go fucking all in on gassing this man. Just go all in on blighting him to death. Good shit, good shit. 58, he's half dead. Almost. Mutiny. Okay, nice. Um, we can hit him with the zealous accusation, right? That does bonus against... Uh, oh, is that not bonus against Unholy? Oh, is that Smite? Smite him. 10 damage. Oh, hey, another round like that. And this guy's fucking dead. And I assume it's very similar to the Necromancer or the Collector in that if we kill him, his crew drown too, right? Or they die. Missed with the anchor. This guy doesn't seem that tough at all. Hands on deck. Is so he summoning another guy? Or not? Oh, is it because he takes up three slots? What a big fatty. Two actions remaining. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Um, just keep going. Just just keep going, right? We don't need to heal quite yet, I don't think. Blight the hell out of him. 12 damage per round. All we need is one good hit here, and we're good. Throwing dagger, 20% versus blighted for five damage. Look, they're, they're, it's basically bringing a child to work day. Drink with the dead. Well, you were complaining you didn't have anything to eat or drink earlier. And then, smite ye! 18, he's gone. He's dead. It's over. I'm going to hit you for the fun of it. Oh, well. 
<laughs> Stinky. Well, that guy was piss easy. What? Compared to the fucking cannon man that we fought, that guy was nothing. Oh. We had harder boss fights against a fucking... We, it took us longer to kill the snail than it did to kill big pirate gentlemen. Well, look at this. Now, they are level three, so they are now unusable. And that's the real big difficulty of that. Well, I've got to start training up a whole new squad. Led by none other than our new grave robber. Fuck. Oh, no. They're all... Okay, so we've still got... We've got Crundle. We've got Clavel, we've got Boris, and we've got Anastara. We've still got a boss fighting squad for the early game. Not a problem. Look, we're getting there. We're getting there. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six bosses killed. Seven bosses, if you can call the Necromancer. Hey, that's pretty good. I never check the Nomad Wagon, do I? Shop for rare items. Uh, madam, none of these are... None of these are rare items. And I haven't got enough money to be... I've actually never even looked at that before. <laughs> God knows what I missed. And to be fair, I should probably also look at the camp at some stage too. I've never bothered looking at this at the cost of training camping skills by 10%. All right. Well, we could have a look at that at some, some point. Still think for the early game, the... I, I still think going for the, 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 the stagecoach upgrade is the right move, right? Especially, let's say we go and fight the next boss and we get party wipes. I've then got to train everybody up from... Ah, oh, there we are. Look at this. I've then got to train everybody up from from fresh, and I don't like that idea at all. So we need instructor mastery, weapon smithing, armor smithing. That's it. Did we pick up a, just enough to maybe unlock any of those? We need deeds. We could trade a few over, but I don't think that's worth worth doing, is it? And then we need portraits as well. We're actually quite close to getting the next training regimen. It's not really worth it. I, I think we've we've got to just focus on those. So that's what I'll do in between episodes. Then I will try and get the next upgrade of the stagecoach network. I'll try and I'll just run some like. Short veteran, maybe some medium veteran ones. Uh, just the long ones might be a bit too much of a gamble. Oh, and my headphones just died. So that's a perfect time to call it there for today. Thank you all for watching. What I am doing, uh, I did talk about this very briefly uh, like the start of a remote episode or something like that. Um, I'm going to be alternating CK2 and Darkest Dungeon, possibly. I might just do Darkest Dungeon in the run-up till Christmas. Uh, mainly because otherwise I'm doing Tear Review and Oblivion on the second channel. Then obviously three edited episodes are down. This channel is, is too much anyway um but if i wanted to have like a few days off over christmas i'd have to pre-record 15 episodes and that that would that sounds like hell that sounds like the worst christmas gift anyone could ever receive um so i'm just going to cut down to only four edited videos a day um but i think i might just do darkest dungeon because more people are watching it more people are enjoying it so um i might just do that and then after christmas all done we'll go back to ck2 i'm not entirely sure um We'll see. We'll see anyway. Maybe I'll get some free time and I will be able to do the occasional um, extra couple here and there. Thank you all for watching. Let me see what I can do with Darkest Dungeon behind the scenes and see if we can uh, see if we can come back tomorrow with a bit of gold. Start upgrading some of our new people, especially our new Grave Robber. Thank you to, uh, I think, Krusty Rhino. If I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. Soriel, Zetlock, Moira, X, Dr. Don, MD, King Snitch Gaming. Spraycan, Dumgit, Nero Nightshade, Aromatic Fool, Archbishop, Lilac, Galaxy Wolf, Zaka, and Nick Danger 013 as well for their support over at That's it. Patreon. You guessed it. And I didn't actually say coffee for once in my life. Thank you. Thank you as well to Larry the Emu, Bordoon, Craigon, Coldest Flame, Nox Immortalis, Mount Kadalbi, Nyankat17, Matteo, Smirt One, Distress Marana, and an Aurora as well for their support. See you guys all tomorrow for hopefully more Darkest Dungeon at the very least.